Have you ever been strolling down the street and suddenly noticed a shift under your feet? One moment you're walking on smooth, seamless concrete, and the next, you're stepping across a pattern of reddish, earthy bricks, each with its own tiny imperfections. You might not have thought much about it at the time, but there's a reason for that change. It's not just a matter of aesthetics or random design. There's actually a lot of history, practicality, and even a bit of science behind why some sidewalks are made of bricks instead of concrete. Today, we're diving into that question, why bricks? Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with a bit of history, because to really understand why bricks are still used in sidewalks today, we need to go back, way back. Bricks are one of the oldest building materials known to humanity. We're talking ancient Mesopotamia old. They've been used for thousands of years for everything from roads and sidewalks to houses and temples. The reason? They're relatively easy to produce, especially in areas where clay is abundant. And once they're fired and hardened, they become incredibly durable. In fact, if you visit some older cities in Europe or even in parts of the United States, you'll find brick streets and sidewalks that have been in place for over a century, still functioning, still beautiful. Now let's talk about the practical side of things. One of the biggest reasons brick sidewalks are still used today, despite the widespread availability of concrete, comes down to maintenance and longevity. Bricks are laid in a pattern over a bed of sand or gravel, and because they're not fused together with mortar the way bricks in a wall are, they're actually easier to repair. If a brick becomes cracked or damaged, or if underground work needs to be done, say, a pipe needs replacing, you can just lift the bricks out do the work, and then put them right back. Try doing that with a solid slab of concrete. It's going to require cutting, breaking, pouring, drying, all of which takes more time, effort, and money. Another practical benefit of brick sidewalks is flexibility. Not just metaphorical flexibility, but literal physical flexibility. Concrete is rigid. When the ground beneath it shifts due to weather changes, tree root growth, or settling over time, it can crack. And once it cracks, it's only going to get worse. Bricks, on the other hand, can shift slightly with the earth. They move just enough to adapt to changes in the soil, which helps prevent large-scale cracking. This makes brick sidewalks especially popular in areas with frequent freeze-thaw cycles where the ground expands and contracts dramatically throughout the year. And we can't ignore the aesthetics. There's something undeniably charming about a brick sidewalk. It gives a space a historical, quaint, or even upscale feel, depending on how it's used. In fact, many cities intentionally use bricks in certain districts, often historical downtowns or residential neighborhoods, to preserve a sense of place or reflect the area's heritage. It's not just about function, it's about creating a vibe. Brick sidewalks can make a street look warm, welcoming, and timeless, while concrete tends to give off a more modern, utilitarian impression. There's a psychological aspect to all of this, too. People often associate brickwork with craftsmanship and care, as opposed to the uniform look of poured concrete. However, it's not all sunshine and roses when it comes to bricks. There are trade-offs. One of the most common complaints about brick sidewalks is that they can be uneven. Over time, the bricks can shift out of place, creating tripping hazards. This can be particularly problematic in areas with heavy foot traffic or where accessibility is a concern. Bricks can also become slippery when wet or icy and they often require more frequent maintenance to keep them looking clean and aligned. Then there's the cost. Installing a brick sidewalk is usually more expensive upfront than pouring concrete. 
it's more labor intensive, requires more materials, and generally takes longer to do. That said, some cities and property owners are willing to absorb that cost because the long-term maintenance may be lower or because the visual appeal is worth the extra expense. Others will use a hybrid approach, concrete for the main pathways and bricks as decorative borders or accents to get the best of both worlds. Another interesting point to consider is the environmental impact. Bricks, especially those made using traditional methods and local materials, can be a more sustainable choice. They don't require the same level of energy to produce as modern concrete, and because they can be reused or repurposed after removal, they contribute less to construction waste. On the other hand, concrete is typically made using cement, which is one of the largest industrial contributors to global carbon dioxide emissions. So from an ecological perspective, bricks may have a slight edge, especially in areas trying to reduce their carbon footprint. It's also worth mentioning the rise of permeable paving in recent years. Cities dealing with urban flooding and stormwater runoff have started looking into surfaces that allow water to pass through rather than collecting on top. Some brick installations, when done with proper spacing and a permeable base, can actually serve this purpose better than traditional concrete, helping to reduce water pooling and support urban sustainability efforts. So, at the end of the day, why are some sidewalks made of bricks instead of concrete? Because bricks offer a mix of history, flexibility, ease of repair, aesthetic appeal, and in some cases, better environmental performance. They aren't perfect, and they're not ideal for every situation. But when used thoughtfully, brick sidewalks can be a smart and beautiful choice. Whether it's to preserve a city's character, make repairs easier, or simply add some texture and warmth to the urban landscape, bricks still have a solid place under our feet, even in a world dominated by concrete. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.